Hi gems, it's your girl Ambra and welcome back to my channel. Today I decided to do a makeup look that I was totally, I'm, you know what I'm going to call this? I'm going to call this an Instagram inspiration. Um, you guys out there who are makeup enthusiasts and or makeup artists, you know that you troll other makeup artists and you know other brands and how they're bringing different eye looks together and faces and all that good stuff. So nonetheless, I wanted to do something that I was inspired by Instagram. Um, I can't find the image right now and that's cool. But uh, I want to be transparent and say that I got the idea from Instagram. So this is quite a bold, uh, I'm going to call this a purple smoky eye with a little party of, uh, no, I'm not going to call it that. I'm going to call it a purple smoky surprise. <laughs> I don't know. Typically, you know how we do highlights with the brighter colors. I just, I mean, start with the brighter like opals and golds. So I decided to do it with this blue that I only used one other time from ColourPop. And I said, you know what? Today is the day that this is coming out to play. And uh, I went on ahead and executed this look. So if you're interested in how I got this purple smoky with surprise look, <laughs> keep watching, Jim. Bye. So first things first, gems. I'm sorry, you know I'm training. I'm just getting my breakfast in. We get our gospel music going and we jump right into our brows. I decided to film this portion because I haven't done it in a while and I'm doing my brows a little bit different. I'm using Max Dip Brow Gel and just a, what is it, a MAC angle brush in 266 and I just go ahead and draw in my eyebrows. I'm doing them a little bit thicker just because I'm finding that they're becoming more scarce as I continue to mess with them when I really shouldn't. But I'm doing it kind of quick and sloppy because I know I'm gonna go in and clean it up. And I always set my brows with a powder and that's Max Espresso. As you can see, I've hit pan on this one, but um, this is probably my second or third one because it's just one that I feel fills in those um, sparse areas. And I clean up my brows with my Studio Select Pro Concealer in NW45. And I'm just using a flat angled uh, Sigma brush here and this has just been my go-to for quite some time and as you can see I'm just cleaning up the other eye as well and just bringing that product down and blending it in I typically set my under eye concealer with another powder um, and typically it's my foundation powder but today I'm using Mac saddle because it's the same flesh tone color and it allows it not to move throughout the day on my eye I've been really loving Mac's 24 hour prep and prime eye primer and I put that on my face to allow it to dry and then I apply the primer for my foundation and I apply that on my in my t-zone areas which for me is probably my most oily areas um, and I also pair this with my Maybelline I always say covergirl but Maybelline poreless eraser right in those areas on my face that I find my pores are just the largest and that's typically on my cheek area so I go right in on my lid and I'm using makeup geeks what is this creme brulee it's a flesh tone um, transition color for me I really like it um, and then I'm going in with the first purple color and this is wisteria uh, for makeup geek as well and this is a great transition color that's gonna blend really well within that creme brulee I decided to get a little closer because you guys could, could see the color and make sure that the light wasn't washing it out too much as a base for the purple shadows that I'll be using, I'm using L'Oreal's eyeliner in the color Pure Purple. It's a Silk Simi <laughs> drugstore eyeliner, but I'm using this as a base to allow the shadows that I use to really pop. And then I'm just blending this out to decrease any harsh lines before I apply any color directly on my lid. I'm using my Melt, yeah, Melt Cosmetic love stack pack in the first color i can't remember the name but i'll make sure to list it below in the description box but i'm applying this iridescent purple directly on the lid and i'm loving the way it's looking but i know that i want to layer on some more rich um, grape color purples on my lid and i go ahead and make sure that i'm blending out any harsh lines as i continue to layer on the purple shadows on my lid i'm using my urban decay uh what palette is this? Again, I'll list that product below, <laughs> but I'm using the purple that's in that palette and it's a little richer of a grape iridescent purple and I'm again packing this directly on the lid. You guys know I have a hooded lid, so I try to stay below the uh, crease in my eye. Indirectly, as, uh, directly on my lid, I'm patting and I must have missed the clip, but I'm using Caitlin Rose from Makeup Geek, which is another iridescent purple and I'm packing that on my eyelid with my finger. 
In my inner corners, I'm using ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in Ibiza, which is kind of, as you can see here, like a really vibrant teal turquoise <laughs> color, which I'm really loving. I typically use opal or golds or more of a white iridescent. So I wanted to play with color here and it blends really well into the other shadows. I'm using my Inglot number 77 black gel liner and I'm just doing a really thin layer. Oh my God, you see this? Like basically I was about to take myself out, poke myself in the eye with my mascara. But my purpose for doing a thin layer is because I really want the eyelashes that I apply to appear really seamless on my natural lid and I'm using House of Lashes new lashes and boudoir and they're gorge as you can see and I'm using my L'Oreal infallible intense liner in black on my lower lash lash line as well as in my inner tear duct and I'm just blending this out no additional product on the brush I believe this is my MAC 217 but I'm going back in with my Makeup Geeks, Caitlin Rose, and I was quite heavy handed with applying it on my lower lash line, but that's okay because I go in with a little creme brulee to kind of diffuse that purple. But when I use my under eye concealer, I'll do more cleaning. And I'm using my NARS Creamy Concealer and Cocoa. And instead of using color corrector, I'm finding that this has really been effective with decreasing the appearance of my dark circles under my eyes. And then I'm spot checking some areas that I want to conceal even more like dark little areas from picking and playing with my skin. And I'm just blending this in using my beauty blender underneath my eyes and in those places that I applied the concealer. Then I go in with my favorite foundation combo for the moment and that is my Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Opal and I'm mixing in my uh, oh so amazing uh, L'Oreal Pro Matte Infallible Foundation and as you can see it appears quite orange on my face initially but the oxidation with this is seamless and such an amazing color match to my neck and I just apply this all over the face and I do go underneath the chin and down my neck just a bit so that there is just you know there's a seamless transition from my face to my neck and I let that sit and dry a bit. Today I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Palette and I'm using Nude for my highlights and I'm using Karab for my contour and I've kind of stepped away from it because it's been so warm outside but I really wanted to use it today because I missed it so much. It just gives an amazing snatch and lift honey. I just love it. So I go back in with my same beauty blender that I used for the NARS concealer to um, blend in my highlight but I use a separate concealer for my contour just because you don't want to contaminate those dark colors with your brighter highlight on your face. <laughs> I meant to say a different beauty blender because I don't want to contaminate the two cream products. So I use one beauty blender for my highlight and I use a separate beauty blender for my darker Karab contour color. As you can see here I'm just blending it in and make sure that everything is seamless. To set my under eye highlight, I'm using my Laura Mercier Luxury Powder, and I just love this stuff. I've actually strand away from my Ben Nye Banana Powder, but I don't cook as much anymore. I really like to press the powder into the highlight to alleviate any creasing um, once I've applied that cream concealer. And then for my contour, I use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Powder Contour. And that's also in the color Karab, which I love. So I can use the cream in the same color and then set that with the same shade in the powder, powder form. So I know we've set that contour and highlight, but to set the entire face, because you, as you know, I'm an oily combination uh, skin person, I like to go with my Lancome Dual Finish Foundation Powder and set the entire face. As I mentioned before, you know, when you're cleaning underneath the eyes with your concealers, you like to just make sure you diffuse and blend those colors on your lower lash line together. I'm going back in much more carefully <laughs> with my Magna, Mega Magna, uh, I don't know how to say this guys, but my mascara. To bronze, even though I've contoured the hell out of my face, I just love going with my CoverGirl Ebony Bronzer. I just feel like it gives a nice, rich, sun-kiss glow to my skin. And for blush today, I'm using my Milani Cosmetic Rose Powder. Can't remember the color. We'll list it below. As you can see, I like to spray my face with my Fix Plus 
spray before I place my highlighter all over my face. I just feel like it makes the color pop more. For my lip color today, I'm using Max Cosmetics Matte Kind of kind of sexy <laughs> with my Milani Brilliance Shine Lip Gloss in the color Bare Secret. And I just love this combination together. So there you have it, gems. My smoky purple surprise. As you can see, it was fun and easy. It's definitely something that you guys can wear on a girl's night out. But also, if you want to go in the office and just rock out something funky. Until the next video, gems, shine bright. Bye.